I have a new wood stove I want to share with you today. This is the wood gas stove from Serotonin Outdoors. If you're interested in hearing more about this unique and brand new design, keep watching. All right, just a few things I want to cover before we get started. First, I'd like to thank Serotonin Outdoors for sending me this stove so that I could share it with you. Number two, yes, you're right. I'm not in the woods. I'm in my basement at home. There's a couple reasons for that. Number one, the province, Nova Scotia, is still under a full fire ban. We've had some very serious forest fires of recent, and although we are now allowed to go back into the woods, we're still not allowed to have a fire. We had some rain, but not near enough to make the woods safe. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is I want to bring you this video quickly at the request of the the company, Serotonin Note Stores, Outdoors, because this product is in Kickstarter right now. So the company has this in Kickstarter, and they'd like me to bring you a little bit of a awareness to it so that you can take a look and see if it's something you want to support. Now, as a result of both of those things, this is not a review. This is just a preview. I can go over the uh, what information I do have about the stove and show you how it goes together and give you some initial thoughts on it, but I can't at this point recommend the stove to you, but I will do that whether when I come back after a dozen or so fires in it a little bit later, hopefully this summer. All right, now we're going to go down to the tabletop. We're going to go over its key features its specification, how it goes together. I'll share my experiences with it so far. And for those of you who stay around to the end, there's a special surprise. All right, let's get started. Okay, this is the basic stove, unassembled, put back in its collapsed state. Now, two things. This strap came with it, wrapped around it to keep it all tight, and it did come in this nice little nylon sack. But rather than stuff it all back in there, I thought I'd just save a few moments by showing it to you th this way. So this is what it would look like all collapsed down. I will tell you what the base weight of this stove is without any of the accessories I'm going to share with you, and then I'll give you all the uh, dimensions once I get it assembled. So right now, everything you see, including the stuff sack, comes in at 10.6 ounces or 300 grams. And yes, if you haven't guessed already, it is made from titanium. Having said that, there is a stainless steel version, which I'll provide information on in the video description. It also plays into that special surprise at the end of this video. Video. So I just want to put the stove a sec aside for a second so I can show you the accessories that came with it. So the stove itself came with two accessories on top of those base components and this is a plate for solid fuel and I will show you how that works but it will drop down inside of the main body of the stove and there's the cube obviously where you can put your solid fuel. And this of course is a small grill that you can put on top of the stove for grilling, whatever. Okay, let me just put those two things aside. Two other things came with it. Now, this is kind of cool. It did come in this pouch, and when I first looked at it, I saw, okay, that's cool. It is a barbecue fork for I go, hot dogs, meat, chicken, marshmallows, whatever it is that you want to use. It is telescopic, of course, but then I realized it's more than that. If you take the fork off, you actually have a bellows, so you, you can blow at your fire to give it the air it needs if it needs it at any point in time. So it does work for dual purpose, so that is a nice accessory. Let me put that aside. And the last accessory I'll share with you is this butane or gas uh, isobutane burner, that, and I'll show you how this goes in together. So it actually comes in as a multi-fuel stove, stove. Now primarily, of course, th th those fuels would be wood primarily. It would also be used with an alcohol stove. I'll explain that and I'll demonstrate how it goes together with the gas burner. And of course, you could use it with wood pellets. The fire grill, I think, will work with wood pellets. Again, I haven't tried it. And with charcoal. So let's just put this aside, bring the main stove back in. All right, so what do you get with the body of the main stove? There's four little pieces right here. Um, I'll show you what they, how they go together, but these four pieces together form the pot stand. They form not only the pot stand, but also the stand for the solid fuel plate. And on the version that is on Kickstarter, not this exact example that I have here, but the version on Kickstarter will be sized a little bit differently so it can sit on top of a transient stove and act as a pot stand for that as well. Unfortunately, the one I have with me is just sized a little bit uh, uh, smaller than it needs to be for that, so I won't be able to demonstrate, but I will show you how this goes together in a moment. You get the base. Let me turn this upside down. Uh, you get the base for the stove. It has fold-out legs, 
very lightweight titanium. So that's the base that's going to hold everything off the ground. I kind of like that. Not only does it provide a wide, stable base, but it keeps the heat from this fire from transferring through. And, and actually two ways. You get not only this base, which is like an ash pan underneath, but you get some separation from where the fire grill is. Now, this, of course, is the fire grill. I'll sh and show you how that goes in in a moment. So with the stove, it, you get two side plates. Now, this is what makes this stove so unique. This is a wood gas stove, a collapsible wood gas stove made from titanium. I mean, that's got to pique your interest. It certainly did mine. And each of these sides, you can see where the primary air intakes are on the outside of the stove. And of course, this is a double wall wall. And then there are the secondary jets along the top. So let me show you how this goes together. And of course, the last two components that come with the basic stove are the end plates. Now the end plates, one is a solid piece. The other one has a rotating opening like the, uh, I guess, a, a feed hole that's shaped very reminiscent of the firebox stove, which can be used for a couple of things. One, it can be used for added ventilation if necessary. It can be used for feeding longer sticks in than you would drop into the main firebox of the stove. And it's also going to work with that butane gas burner where I can put the attachment for the butane tank out through here. And when not in use, if you don't want it, you just rotate that down and you've got a solid plate. All right, let's put the stove together. Now, I will tell you this. There is a small learning curve getting used to how this go stove goes together and the most effective way of doing it. I can't say that I've fully mastered it yet, but I've got the concept down pretty good, I think. So the easiest thing to do is to move the uh, base plate ash pan away. Take one side, take one of the end pieces. In this case, I have the one with the swing opening. You'll notice that there are tabs on this end plate and they match up with slots in the end of the two sides and so it goes like that obviously now i'm going to do the same thing with the other side easy enough to remember which way the plates go because of course you want the secondary jets facing in the primary jets facing out so i'll put that one on that end now all i have to do is bring it around take the other end plate and let's put that on you wear glasses, do wear glasses while you're doing that. All right, so that's all there is to it. That's how the stove goes together. It is a little bit of a puzzle stove or a stove that is multiple pieces, but it's still very simple in design, very effective. And if you if they made it any more, uh, how should I say, folding, you would have added cost and complexity to the process. So I think this is in part what um, makes this stove such a reasonable value based on the Kickstarter price. All right, let's bring the ash pan back in. You pick up the stove by the end pieces. Don't pick it up by the sides. If you pick it up by the sides, it's going to come apart. All right, there's the basic stove assembled for you. So there's, that's it right there. You can see there's clearance underneath for air to enter in. The only other thing that needs to go inside of the stove is the fireplace. You know, I'm looking at that right now and I'm wondering about pellets. Well, there's only one way to know, and that is to try it with pellets to see how many fall through. If, if any fall through, and I expect some might, then of course the ash pan is going to collect it. So now all I have to do is drop that into place. Except this time I dropped it right through. Watch what I'm doing when I do it this time. So there are lips on either side of the sides intended to capture it. And when you do it with some intention, then of course it goes in the way it's supposed to. All right, so there is the basic stove assembled. I'm just going to slide that out of the way for a moment so that I can put the pot stand together. So with the pot stand, also titanium, very thin, there are four pieces, two longer pieces, two shorter pieces. Easiest way to do this is to take a shorter and a longer pieces, put them together again with another one. And it's the shorter pieces that slide down from the top, get them in the slots. Now, Here's how they work together with the stove. So you just pick it up pinch so it doesn't fall apart. And there it is, that's just it. It just sits on top of the stove like that. 
Uh, I was a little bit, I don't know, wondering if, if this was a good design or not when I first got it, but having played with it, I can see some real benefits. One, there's a lot of clearance from the top of the, top of the stove, so there's no way if you're putting a pot on top of this that you're going to dampen down the smoke by having not insufficient airflow or you know, dropping the temperature too much. You can also move it back and forth, so if you want it off of one end and feed some sticks down through here so the fire is concentrated at this end of the stove, and if you're using that opening on the end to slide your longer sticks through, then it's kind of nice that way. Now, the other thing this is used for is with the wood gas, uh, not the wood gas, sorry, the butane burner. So let me just take it off of the stove, put the stove aside, bring the burner in. Now, what you will notice with this assembly, I'm going to pick it up so I don't drop it apart by mistake, is that there are slots on each of the two long sides. So uh, the burner itself, you can see it has quite a diameter and a rim around the outside that extends out past the uh, jets from the stove. You would simply fold that into the uh, pot stand like that, that's it. All right, so now that we have that in the pot stand, what I need to do is run the attachment point down through the stove. I can probably bring this back in to demonstrate. Hopefully I can do this with just two hands and not drop it. Might be a little easier if I start it with two hands and then without everything falling apart on me. Again, as I said, I don't have a lot of experience with this. Here we go, that's easy enough. All right, so there is the gas burner on top of the stove the feed hose running out of the end. Now I did use this, so this is something I could use safely here at home and I could safely use it out in the woods and I may start doing that. Of course, I'm gonna be so tempted to build a fire in this. Maybe I should leave it home until the fire ban is fully off. But yeah, okay, so that's the basic stove. Now, the only other options that I can show you at this time is how to use it with the stove itself and everything with the um, uh, solid fuel plate. So let me do that and that starts with taking the gas burner out, taking it out of the pot stand. Takes just a second or two to get used to it. Now there's the pot stand separated from the rest of the stove and if I can get that down inside, now it is laying on the fire grate and now this will go in on top of that. Line it up and without tipping everything over, you can now see where the solid fuel plate rests inside of this as well. All right, so that's most of it. And I guess the last thing to show you is the uh, grill. So the grill just sits on top and that's all there is to it. It's thin titanium. Uh, my first concern will be, of course, is warping. What I'm looking at this and seeing is that I expect there will be some warping from using it with an open fire, but I also expect it'll be very easy to push back into shape, knowing how titanium works that way. And I don't expect any of the warping is going to affect the functioning of it. You might get a little rocking back and forth because of it not being lined up perfectly. But as I mentioned, I think this is going to be very easy to manipulate if it does start to take a shape on that you're not comfortable with. All right, so let me just take this off. Let's give you some basic, well, maybe I'll bring this out and put that on top again, just so you get the full idea of what this looks like. Okay, again, there's the basic stove fully constructed. Let's go over a few dimensions for this. So as I mentioned, 10.6 ounces or 300 grams. That's everything you see here, plus the little stuff sack that goes with. In its assembled state as it sits right now, I don't know that this includes the top stand, it's, uh, let's see, 6.8 uh, inches in height. It is five or 3.5 inches across and 6.9 inches long. All that together would be 17.5 inches in height or 17.5 inches in this direction. Uh, 17 point, I said 17.5 inches, 17.5 centimeters across here, 17.2 table to the top, 
and nine uh, centimeters across the width of it here. Now, I'll pro provide the collapsed dimensions in the video description if you're interested in that as well. Because, of course, that is one of the key features is the fact that this is a fully functional wood gas stove that you can collapse and store in a very small package and a very lightweight. Okay, that's everything that I can tell you about this stove so far. I, I like the design. Uh, again, I have not had a fire in it, so I can't give you any comments on the function of it. I'm dying to do so, but I do have to wait until the fire ban is lifted. All right, I have a few more comments and, of course, something interesting for you to hear about in a moment. All right, folks, there's not much more I can tell you about this multi-fuel stove from Serotonin Outdoors. Obviously, I haven't had a fire in it. I need to have at least half a dozen or so fires to get a really good feel of how well this stove is going to work. And when I do, I'll come back with a full review. But I think it's worth your while going over to the Kickstarter page to take a look at this and see what kind of deals Serotonin Outdoors is offering you. If you do go over to the Kickstarter page, you're going to notice that there is a second stove for sale. They're actually selling or have out on the Kickstarter campaign a stainless steel version of this stove. It's going to cost a little less, but of course it's going to weigh a little bit more. Now here's the good news. Serotonin Outdoors has offered to send me or offer me one of the stainless steel versions that I could do a giveaway with to you. So that's what we're going to do. Let's put it make it very simple. All I want you to do is if you're interested in receiving one of these stainless steel versions in a giveaway is just to put a comment below that says I'm in. Just that simple. That's all I'm going to do. Just say I'm in. One week from the posting of this video, I'll create another video where we do an online draw to see who gets that stove. Now, I asked Serotonin Outdoors, is there any restrictions on shipping? And they inform me they can ship pretty much worldwide. So I guess wherever the Kickstarter is available for you to see, you can also uh, qualify for the giveaway. Okay, that's all I have to offer you at this time. If you have any comments on the stove, I'd be really interested in hearing what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, I'll do what I can to answer them. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.